And now, let's go to our New York studios and go inside her story with Jackie Reed. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Tom, Sybil, and Jay. Listen, infertility due to fibroids is common among African-American women. We talk about it amongst ourselves often. In order to encourage other women, however, one woman is sharing her extremely challenging 10-year journey to become a mother, a journey, Tom, that included several fibroid-related surgeries, two bouts of in vitro miscarriages, and fibroids literally sucking the life almost out of her baby. Jeez. I'm going inside her story with fertility coach, brand strategist, and mom, Jesse Thompson. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, beautiful Jackie Reed. How are you How today? Are you? Very well. So happy to talk to you. Now, many people may have read your story uh, in the May issue of Essence. Everything I mentioned um, above, you know, happened. You detailed that in that story. What you, um, what I didn't mention was that your heart stopped during yeah. delivery of your daughter. What happened there? You know, it was. Um, it, it's amazing. You know, as you prepare for this and you go back with the history, you can't imagine. <laughs> You know, it, it, it shocks me, but it was just because of every how long it took them to get to me because of all the scar tissue from the fibroid, um, the fibroid surgeries. I actually had five major surgeries and five IVF cycles, and that surgery to have my daughter was my sixth major surgery. And it wow. took them over an hour just to get her to get through the scar tissue and the adhesions, and that's what caused, um, caused my heart to stop on the table. But thank well, God. <laughs> I know. Praise God she's here. Now, Nia was born at 2.5 pounds. Yes, the Nia, fibroids... Nia was two and a half pounds and, um, and a very feisty, powerful mm -hmm. little girl. <laughs> and you described the fibroids. You say they were siphoning her blood supply like leeches. Did you come close to losing her? Um, you know, at 21 weeks, the doctors, um, you know, said to us that you might want to terminate the pregnancy because the um, the prognosis was very poor uh, in terms of her, her, her the mortality rate, what her life would be like, because they expected me to, to deliver extremely preterm. And um, what happened is that the fibroids, that I still had fibroids even after my last one, and they were now growing in the pregnancy, and mm -hmm. they literally were, they were, they were sucking away the blood supply so that my child was not getting everything that she needed. And so she was growing extremely small. And because of that, um, it endangered both of our lives, actually, um, because it, it, was, um, it was just going to, the, the prognosis was preeclampsia, many things that obviously many women face in high-risk high situations. However, it was, you know, it was multiplied in my case. Wow. And now she is happy and healthy today, yes? She is absolutely amazing. She is, and she really is my inspiration. Now I'm I'm able to inspire other women. We have this um, circle of hope. In fact, the whole story is available on my website at jessiedomsa.com. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to find. It's actually it's in the May issue, but it's also online on Essence's site. And, and, and Jessie is spelled that, with a G. Yes, it's www.gessie -S -S like girl. G E S S I E Thompson dot And you're a fertility coach now, Jesse? Yeah. What you does know, that I, mean? <laughs> exactly. So someone posted um, one of them. We have a circle of, of hope prayer group now, and the husband of one of my one of our women posted this weekend. He said, "Jesse, you're like a midwife, and you're helping. I thank you so much because you're like a midwife, helping our our women to helping us to push through and to give birth to our miracle babies." And um, so we have women who are, you know, dealing with infertility issues, who are, you know, trying to adopt whatever the issue, the obstacle may be to helping them navigate that to get to their dream baby. We have this prayer group that we're helping them with called the Circle of Hope Prayer Group. And it's, uh, you can sign up. It's, uh, obviously, it's a free thing. We're, we're meeting again this Saturday. And it's um, really just to support. When, one day, my, my life coach, Coach Felicia, asked me, what did you need when you were in that? phase of your life. And I said, I really, I realized that discouragement was my single most deadly foe. And if I could just fight encouragement, if I could stay encouraged, I could fight another day. And, and you stayed encouraged mm -hmm. for 10 years. Absolutely. That, that's amazing. And, and just real quick, Jesse, for, you know, a lot of women with fibroids are advised to have a hysterectomy. Was that ever an option for you? What would you say to those women considering that? 
It absolutely was, but I can tell you I fought back because I did not want to lose the opportunity to have my baby. And you can join me in fighting fibroids as well because we're looking for a cure. We're searching for a cure with the White Dress Project. So we invite many to just come to my website, jessethompson.com. Hope Beyond Fibroids is a book we're working on. Please and when submit will that your be story. available? Hope Beyond the book Fibroids. Is, the book is available now on my website for pre-order, and a portion of the proceeds go to the White Dress Project to fund research and awareness for fibroids. What okay, a story. Well, really? Find Jessie Thompson. She's on social media. She has a website, but it's Jessie with a G, G-E-S-S-I-E. Jessie, thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you, Tom. All right, and happy, uh, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>